Hi folks, Colin, MM0OPX. This is another video in the Moxon series. And in this one, I want to talk to you how you actually can hold your wire elements uh, on your Moxon beam. Now, this is one of the elements that um, I really struggled with for a while. I had to do a lot of research until I came up with this idea. Um, I had a similar idea on my SP7IDX hex beam, um, but uh, it took me, I knew what I was wanting, but it took me a while to source the components, but I want to show you what I did. Because all the videos and, and projects I've seen um, online, a lot has been 3D printed stuff. Well, I can't. I don't have a 3D printer, so I can't do that. Um, or people were just using straight zip ties crossed together, so I wasn't wanting to do that either. So um, these little um, these little tube clamps or hose clamps, um, you can buy these from hydraulic suppliers. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, these come in different sizes. Um, the one I'm actually using for the 20 meter moxon is a 16 millimeter uh, diameter, which is to suit this. This is the um, second section of the uh, one jammer five meter pole, but I'm only using four, the bottom, the bottom four sections, because um, that, that's all you need for length. So this is actually the finished product. You can see we've got one of these clamps, and we've got a D-ring, and we've got a, a cable tie. But the D-ring won't fit. Um, into the clamp right away so we need to do a little bit of modification so as you can see this is how it comes as standard and if you put that in there you can see that it won't close so what we do is what I've used is uh, one of these uh, Dremel multi-tools it's not ideal but it, but it does the job you could you, you could do this with a knife or a file you know the side of a, of a, of a bastard file or something but um, I've just done it with the Dremel for quickness and basically what I did was grind in here and just put a, a groove. Um, as you can see, it's not pretty, but it, it doesn't need to be. What happens is, if you put your D-ring in, then, now it doesn't matter if that D-ring um, rotates a little bit, that, that doesn't matter at all. And then all you need to do is get your cable tie and it should fit through if you've ground enough um, material off. Um, and then just tighten that up. There we go. Just pull that. Find my snaps. Oops. Just move the camera there a little bit. It doesn't fall off. So what we can do is then is just fit the, and it just naturally kind of goes onto the pole, and that's kind of where it is on the pole. And I just kind of judge that as about you know what that is on the pole, 130 millimeters down the pole. Um, so yeah, so that's our that's our clamp on our pole, and it, it looks pretty good, looks pretty neat, and it's repeatable. So if we're going portable, we could take it on and put it off, you know, easy enough. These come in different diameters, but they. they they jump up in sizes, and it's obviously to shoot. It's obviously to, to suit um, just different si standard sizes of hydraulic pipe and hose and and so on. But um, I think there's probably enough ranges. I, I bought the whole range, um, very cheap, about twenty or thirty pence each. But the, the the shipping was a killer. It was about ten pounds postage, so I made sure that I bought a few to make up for the expensive uh, postage. Although it was next day, um, so that, that 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 was always good. The, this uh, cable tie. This is a, it's not UV resistant, but I'm just working portable up for a couple of hours, so it doesn't really matter. But when I next buy cable ties, I'm gonna buy the UV resistant ones. And um, you, you, you can actually just manage to fit another zip tie down here through the bottom of the hole, and you can actually put it around the bottom here. You can see this join here. I'm not really keen on that, as you can see maybe, see how thin that is, what's actually holding it there. So if you put another cable tie right around it, that would actually hold it um, pretty secure. So there we go, another element to the Moxon. Hope it's uh, hope it's of use to some of you. 73, we'll see you in the next video.